Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back with a box. I have my Nine of Earth for June 2022. Hopefully you guys haven't seen this box already. You probably have. Um, it's been sitting with me for a few days, but as you know, or if you don't, my son got married um, over the weekend. So it's been a very busy week. Um, and weekend. So, hello and welcome guys. If you are new to my channel, my name is Lisa and on my channel I like to do lots of witchy things including unboxings. So, I'm gonna talk for a little bit. <laughs> so, if you are not one of my best friends and you don't want to be, you might want to fast forward, but if you want to be one of my best friends or you're already one of my best friends, you know who you are. That's right, you do. Um, so, anyways, my middle son got married Saturday. Ah, oh, it was beautiful, it was wonderful. Oh my gosh, it was like joyous, it was it was bittersweet, it was emotional, it was great and wonderful. Um, I will maybe put a few pictures, like, I know that I could put like in the community here on YouTube, it'll, it'll come through that I've posted some pictures. I'm not going to post pictures of the bride and groom until I get permission from them. Um, I don't know if my, my daughter-in-law is going to be like, oh yes, put me on your witchy channel. <laughs> She's Christian <laughs> and, um, I mean, she totally accepts me, you know, but I don't know that she wants to be like associated with it. My son will be like, I don't fucking care. But anyways, um, yeah, so there was lots of interesting things <laughs> that happened over the, um, at the wedding. Um, my new daughter-in-law's grandma um, decided to make a, um, speech to the bride and groom that was more like fire and brimstone and you need to have Jesus in your life or you're going to burn in hell, it kind of stuff. And it, it was, it was interesting and awkward for everybody. <laughs> and she also talked to, um, the wedding planner person who is a friend of mine from junior high and high school. He is a homosexual male and listen y'all she was like do you are you ready to meet your maker um because you're living a sinful lifestyle and all that shit anyways oh my gosh so that happened <laughs> otherwise the wedding was wonderful okay that's all i have to say right this second i'm sure i'll think of more things um it is hot as hell so i am wearing a tank top it's also like in the middle of the night it's like 1 30 in the morning um, I've been packing orders from my shop like all day, um, getting on track because I'd been getting orders from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then today, or well, today is Tuesday now, but it was Monday. So anyways, I had tons of orders. It's not a problem that I'm upset about. Thank you guys, because I know a lot of you shop in my store. If you're not familiar with my store, it is Luna Moth Creations Co. on Etsy, and it's linked below, but let's get into the box. So, we have our Nine of Earth. So, right on top it says Opposites, Sun and Moon. Super excited. Okay, we got some crinkle paper. Oh my god, I just saw something. I've actually wanted this. So, this is fun. Okay, crinkle paper to our monster. He's getting really big again. Okay, alright, let's see. I'm sure this says something at the top. Okay, maybe not. It just tells us what's in here. All right, so first on top, we've got some incense. Ooh. So we have moon incense cones, and then opposite, sun incense cones. Oh, it smells good. Okay, so moon incense cones by Kamini. It's a $2.99 value. Light up your light, wait, moon? No, moon, a beautiful perfume blend. <laughs> Designed to relax your body and calm your mind. Ooh, I'm gonna need that. You guys know I'm ADHD. All right, the sun is by the same people, also $2.99. Light up your life with the beautiful warm scent of sun incense cones. There you go. Okay, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm hyper. All right, we have this blue sachet. What is in here? Oh, and hey, for those of you that are new, if uh, if witchy things are the things that you like, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And we can be best friends. Okay. Mm, speaking of bells, look at this! Sun charm! 
Here's your bell. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's cute. It's got a lot of little beads and shiz. Where can I hang this? Oh, my, my spirit board fell off the wall. <laughs> oh my gosh. It always falls off. Okay. What is next in the box? We have a sachet with a bris. Oh, I didn't read about them. Happy Sun Wind Chime. It's a $12.99 value. The sounds of wind chimes blowing in the wind have the ability to promote relaxation and reduce stress. When hung in doorways and windows, they are thought to dissuade bad luck from entering a home. This charming brass wind chime featuring a happy sun is sure to bring good energy to your space. Trying to get that good energy. Okay. <gasps> oh, girl! We've got a Labradorite. My son's probably trying to sleep downstairs and he's like, Mom, what are you doing up there? Labradorite bracelet with a little moon charm. Yes, girl. And oh my God, guys, don't look at my nails. So I got them done the day before the wedding. And the place was like short staff, they said. There was tons of people there. We had to wait, which whatever, that's no big deal. But then I swear they were just taking people off the street and they're like, can you try to paint this lady's nails? And it looks like a kindergartner did it. I spent like $150 for a mani-pedi and I've got kindergartner nails. Whatever. All right, where are we? Labradorite bracelet with moon charm. It's $15.99 value. This stone is wonderful to work with during new moons as it is all about change and transformation. It is dark yet lit like the sky. If you look closely, you will see flashes of blues and greens hidden within. Yes, oh yeah. I don't know if I'll be able to get this on camera. Oh, see, you can kind of see a little flash right there. Anyways, if you guys um, follow along, you know that I love Labradorite. Oh, I already have this. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Let me see. I think I do. I think we got this in a different box. Oh, but it's a little different. Okay, so we have the moon uh, tarot pouch. This may go into uh, my giveaway. Um, and for those of you that haven't been following along, once I read a, reach a thousand subscribers, I'm giving a giveaway and it, you may get some of the things that are in this box or other boxes, lots of goodies. So I'm, I'm getting there y'all. I think I'm at like 918 or something like that. Anyways, very close. So let's see here. The Moon Tarot Bag. It is a $9.99 value. This velvet drawstring bag is the perfect place to store your favorite tarot deck. Place a crystal inside to charge your deck. Very nice. Okay, I don't want to pull our deck out yet. All right, now we have this cute little mojo looking bag. All right, but this is our crystal. I think that they all talk to each other. Oh, how lovely. So we've got a sunstone and we have a moonstone how fun is that i'm having some hair issues okay um sunstone tumbled it is um three to five dollar value in greek mythology the sunstone crystal is believed to have fell from the sun during a solar eclipse and was a gift from Ra, the sun god. Of course, you know I love Egyptian shit. It is said to be a stone of leadership and personal power, and it is said to bring balance between your feminine and masculine energies. Using sunstone with moonstone is said to increase this balance. Um, and I carry both sunstone and moonstone in my shop. Um, so the rainbow moonstone is also three to five dollar value, often called the visionary stone. It is as it is believed to help strengthen intuition and aid us in seeing things that aren't obvious at first. Another great stone to use with the power of the moon, as it is said to encourage one to take on new opportunities and ease the stress of new transitions. Wonderful. All right, more crinkle paper. Oh, I think there's something in here I don't have. Oh my gosh, 
she think it was on my wish list? Okay. So first off, we have some artwork. We've got the sun on one side and the moon on the other, and it's got a bunch of correspondences. Um, sun and Moon Book of Shadows print by Nine of Earth, $2.99 value. Double-sided art print with magical correspondences of the sun and moon. Two included in case you want to display them both at the same time. Oh, yay! I wasn't paying attention. So cool. So then I have the sun and the moon. Yay! I'm glad they did that because when I put it in, like, my book of shadows, or if I display it, yeah, I would like them both up there. Yes, like my stuff on my store, people. Okay. Oh, my gosh. So we have two wonderful things in here. Um, first off, at the very bottom of this box, it says, Only in darkness can you see the stars. And it's a quote by Martin Luther King Jr. How fun is this box? Okay, so I do not have this book. Super excited. We've got Tarot by the Moon. Ah! And it is Spreads and Spells for Every Month of the Year. Victoria Constantino. All right, so Tarot by the Moon book. $19.99 value. The energy of the moon has an undeniably powerful influence on people, on plants and animals, and on the cycles and rhythms of the world. This book provides month-by-month -month tarot spreads, spells, and rituals to help you manifest the changes you want for yourself and your community. Super excited! Oh, great. So it talks about the different moons. Like, I think that one said the pink moon. Oh, no, I'm sorry. We're in March. That's the warm moon. Um, healing a compromised aura, light of positivity, healing ritual. Oh, this is going to be so great. And then there's like spreads in here. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay. You guys ready for our deck? I'm so excited. We got Tarot of Oppositions. I've actually had this on my wish, wish list in, in that book too. So yay. Don't you love it when you get stuff that you want? Yes. <laughs> so how's y'all's weekend? How was y'all's weekend? Was it great? I had a blast oh, with all my people. So wonderful. Okay, so first off, there's that. On the back, we've got the hermit. Oh my God, I'm assuming that that's the, um, the uh, empress. And then you open it, or maybe this is the Empress. Girl, I don't know, unless that's a devil. We've got that. We've got, okay, oh, that's the other, okay, okay, I get it. That's oppositions, okay, all right. So we have a little white book. It is, um, no pictures, just, um, you know, little definitions in there. Oh, this is by Los Scarabio. Los Scarabio. They don't normally have um, big uh, books or anything. It's usually just little, the little white book, you know what I'm saying? All right. Woo! Shit, Lisa, why did you sit it like that? Goofball. Okay. So. This is the backs of the cards, and this is just like a filler. Okay, so Tarot of Opposition, Oppositions by, ooh, I'm going to screw this up, Perluca Zizi and Michelle D'Alasio, $26.95, $26.95 value. This truly unique day, because, did, did I just say a cuss word? <laughs> this, this truly unique deck is you guys his minds are in the gutter mm. it is great for adding depth to your readings every card shows its opposite giving a new perspective to the same situation all right let's dive into the deck y'all so we have the fool the magician so I'm, I'm wondering, so is it supposed to be like upright in reverse, I guess? So High Priestess, 
the Empress, the Emperor. How much fun is this? The Hierophant, the Lovers. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. Ah, uh, the Chariot. Strength. Okay, I've got like way too much on my altar, y'all. Okay, the um, Hermit. The Wheel. Justice. The Hanged Man. Death, Temperance, The Devil, The Tower. I wonder how you know which is I mean, I guess some of these you can really tell which one is like the upright versus the reverse. The star. The moon. Oh, we got some naked children. <laughs> the sun. It's getting pornographic up in here. <laughs> Please don't take me away. Uh, judgment. Oh, I love this. The world. All right, now we're moving to Ace of Cups. Two of Cups. Three. We're supposed to be partying. Where's all of our friends? Hmm. Ugh, I gotta rearrange myself. Excuse me. All right, Four of Cups. It's hot as hell in here. Five of Cups. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right, we got our page of cups. Knight. Queen. And King. All right, now we have our Ace of Pentacles. Two. Three. Oh, I need a fan. <laughs> oh my God, it was so hot this weekend. Um, four of Pentacles. At least it rained like the night before the wedding, so it kind of cooled off a little bit. Instead of being upper 90s, it was low 90s. <laughs> Still hot. Five. Right, was that five? Yes. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. I'm doing these pretty fast. <laughs> Page. Night. Queen. King. All right, now we've got the Ace of Wands. I like that one. Two. Three. Four of Wands. Five. 
my arms are getting tired. <laughs> I swear, I'm so old and out of shape. I can't even hold up tarot cards and my arm gets tired. <laughs> Six of Wands. <laughs> Uh, yeah, for for those of you that know, I, I stopped my workout program. Things got a little crazy, but I'm going to restart. I'm going to restart, or I might do a different one. I was kind of bored with the one I was doing. Seven of Wands. It had way too much cardio. I just want the weightlifting. Eight. Uh, nine. Looks like the airbender. Ten. Page. Night. Okay, I was somebody's favoriting stuff in my shop. Yay. Uh, Queen of Wands. Okay, this was Queen of Wands. I thought it was the Empress when I was looking at the box. All right, and we've got King of Wands. Now we're moving on to swords. We got the ace of swords. Two. Three. Four. Five. Almost done, guys. Six. Seven, eight, nine. I think that looks like me. Just looking a little haggard, don't you think? <laughs> Ten. Page. But oh my God, you guys should have seen me. We had our makeup and hair done by some professionals. <laughs> Anyways, um, I looked pretty fabulous, I have to say. They did my hair real cute. Night, and I'll try to put some pictures of that. Queen. So probably I'll only put up pictures of like me and my boyfriend from the wedding. All right, and King of Swords. That is it. All right, we will get rid of, well, I guess we'll keep these cards. Okay, let's pull a card and see what the little white book says about the card. I like to read what the author writes about the card. Although, I don't really know if these little white books are any different than other ones, but there's two people on there. So I'm assuming one is the author and one is the illustrator. All right. So we have Eight of Swords, and hmm, I honestly don't know if that's supposed to be the, um, I don't know if that's supposed to be upright or, or, um, or what. Okay, so positive. I think I'm, I was on the negative. I think I got that negative one. So we'll do the negative. Okay. Are you a prisoner of your own mind? Be honest and try to understand if the causes of your pain are inside you. Come out of the darkness of sadness and fear. Seek the guidance you need to look within. Make painful decisions and grow. So if anybody needed that message, that is for you. That is for you. All right. So that is it, guys, for the Nine of Earth. For June 2022, I'm extremely pleased with this. This deck was on my um, my want list. The book was on my want list. Everything is wonderful. Super excited. Thank you, Nine of Earth, for a great box. I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. I I think I'm actually most excited about the book, really. So. Um, Maybe we can we can try something in here together. I was thinking about maybe doing like um, a a spread together too. God, I have so many ideas, guys. I need I need to quit my nurse job so I have more time to spend with y'all. 
because I have so many things in my head to do. So anyways, guys, wouldn't you mind just giving me some thumbs up and a comment below? It really helps out my channel. And if you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you'd hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And I thank y'all for um, subscribing who already is. And until next time, guys, have a great day. Bye.